Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from a report that shows Eminem reclaimed the quote number one spot for the most viewed rappers for the month of November 2023. But there's a twist because while we previously reported that Drake ended Eminem's 2023 streak in October, upon further examination, more has come to light that calls that report into question based on the methodology that was used to track the October numbers. And we'll get to this in a moment. Today we also have more from Joe Budden who lit the fuse when he dissed NBA Youngboy on his podcast, and YB wasted no time to fire back at Joe Budden, and even Birdman joined in on the action, and rap fans are divided so far. You could call it a generational divide, and we'll get to this later, and as usual, I'll be looking forward to your thoughts in the comment section later. So starting with the most viewed report for the month of November, YouTube made some changes to the charts that's limited the amount of information we can get, and as a result, only the rappers who could consistently make the weekly top 100 were tracked, and Eminem came out on top and reclaimed the quote top spot from Drake, and top 5 goes Eminem at 337 million, Drake at 279 million, Doja Cat at 227 million, and NBA Youngboy at 167 million. This is based on views from the 3rd to the 30th of November, which raises questions for October. As while we reported in October that Drake ended Eminem's streak, upon further examination, we discovered that the source tracked views from the period of 29th September to the 26th of October for the October report that had Drake as the most viewed rapper of the month. And some users pointed this out back then. That list was posted three days before October ended. It isn't valid in my opinion. They did this on purpose. But it was worse. The report was published based on numbers five days before October ended, while it included two days from September. So an entire week of data was missing from the October report. And accounting for the full month including the last week, Eminem actually did not lose his streak as it turned out to be 411 million views for Eminem in October and 391 million views for Drake. And if you recall, Eminem's former associate celebrated this in October, claiming how ironic he copied his style from a guy named Aubrey, just to be dethroned by a guy named Aubrey. The irony. Turns out Aziz will have to wait a little longer to celebrate Eminem losing his YouTube streak, and I'll be looking forward to your thoughts later. Moving on, Joe Biden opened the floodgates recently when he was asked about his thoughts on NBA Youngboy on his podcast, and he didn't hold back. He went in. You ready to tell the truth about NBA Youngboy? Uh, not ready to do this. Uh, what's the truth? And it's trash. He's horrible. He is horrible. Damn. He is horrible. He is really, 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 really bad. As a rapper or a person? I'm, I don't know him as a person. Oh, okay. I'm only speaking about music. Music. He's really, really, really bad. And that thing happened with him where when he was out, the label pushed a button and did some YouTube shit. So then all the little kids had to just come to the fucking, come to the gathering and tell you about NBA young boy views and how great he is and how awesome he is and how amazing he's doing. Now that the label's backed up a bit, and now that we done had about three or four projects while he's been in Utah on house arrest. You've had way more than that. I know. And that's that, that, I know. that to me, is where the I problem know. lies. And while many rap fans agree with takes like he ain't lie and more, Joe Budden always gonna keep it a buck. I think more of these kids are infatuated with NBA Youngboy's persona more than his actual music. The actual music is trash. Has anybody actually sat down and listened to an entire Youngboy album? Perhaps it is a generational split, as in my opinion, I don't expect most older rap fans to be able to sit through an entire YB album. But some have fired back at Joe Budden with takes like, that dude got 100 plus platinum and gold records, and dudes still try to narrow him down to YouTube views, lol. Joe Biden was wrong for that, as YB currently has 18 million monthly listeners on Spotify, so it is objectively not just YouTube. And even if you included Joe Biden's podcast, this is still more monthly listeners than Joe Biden manages monthly. And while YB's music is certainly not for me, I'm not the target audience, but we'd all be lying if we don't admit that he certainly has millions of people, especially in the United States, that enjoy his music since they continue to support his releases. And some have added, if YB was from New York, the conversation would be different. I don't listen to YB, but I agree with this take. That New York bias be strong as F. And as expected, when a rapper calls another rapper's music trash, a response should be expected. And YB would Wasted no time to fire back. He shared this on IG. Last thing I dropped was a Saturday too. My album still in the top ten. Pussy ass. Don't speak on me. I don't play that. Don't rat on me neither. You pussy. Yeah, bubble. 
I said, want that piece about two minutes old? Oh, stupid, dumb. This do your shit don't even get hard no more. Count that. Ain't no, ain't no sabotaging. Yeah. Wrong with that, nigga, man. Don't rat on me. I'm, don't rat on me, bitch. And I don't want to argue with you, nigga. Hey, bitch, you do all them interviews. Hey, come on, great nigga, mountain and talk to me, nigga. You can't, you can't do that, man. Hey, you bitch, man. Shut your fuck mouth. Wow. That is so powerful. And why these responses spark memes like this. Quote, your knob don't even get hard no more. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. How the f*** you know that, bro? <laughs> and more, every video from him is like watching a Batman villain hijack broadcast channels across Gotham, even with the sound off. And Birdman joined the action. He shared this. At Joe Budden, you effing with something you should leave alone. And while some believe, can't even say you don't like somebody's music anymore, laughing emoji. This is disingenuous because Joe Budden called it trash and horrible. And Joe Budden was a rapper. It is not the same as some random internet personality critiquing music. When a rapper calls another rapper terrible and trash, a response should be expected positive or negative. Joe Budden can claim retirement all he wants, but this was an expected outcome. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.